It was the prep or nothing else. He really had no options. But just as it was a matter of destiny for Mike to attend the prep, so it was a matter of destiny for those opposing linemen who had to forget, who had to line up against him and receive his blocking blows. Mike was an all-state, all-county, uh, and all-Catholic Group A first-team lineman. He was also a Newark News All-North Jersey Catholic Prep Schools first team and all-state third team and Newark Advocate All-North Jersey first team. In those years under Bill Cochran, when Mike was playing, prep filled Roosevelt Stadium every Sunday afternoon. When all the ink had dried with all the awards he received, Mike accepted a scholarship to Boston College, coached then by the famous Mike Hollaback, and he played in the inaugural game at BC's alumni field. With a degree in industrial management in hand, Mike received a commission from the U.S. Marine Corps, where he attained rank of captain and played football while stationed in Virginia and California. He's now retired after a long career with American CAM, which saw him rise to Director of International Sales and Marketing. He and Lorraine Ann live in Newton, Connecticut, where he has served three terms on the town's Legislative Council. They have three daughters and six grandchildren. One of Prep's all-time great linemen, Mike Hurley, class of 1956. Good evening. As indicated in the remarks previously here, uh, I have a pedigree for St. Peter's Prep. My father, my uncle, uh, Father John Condon, SJ, all would not allow me to even consider it at the school. So these were very smart and very intelligent men. And I came down here and applied for the Mensa Society was rejected immediately. <laughs> I looked around and I said, well, what else can I do around here? They said, well, football looks like a, a pretty good option. And it was for me, personally, professionally, and otherwise. It uh, ended up uh, with me uh, playing for Bill Cochran and uh, the Jesuit karma of in service to others. And Bill Cochran reinforced that with a, an addendum. In service to others, especially quarterbacks, halfbacks, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe wide receivers if they can catch the ball. <laughs> so uh, with that in mind, I, uh, I went on and, and I'm so proud of my prep uh, pedigree and heritage. Uh, Robert Fulmer wrote a book Everything I needed to know, I learned in the kindergarten. Well, everything I needed to know about life, I learned here at the prep. It stood me well in, on the athletic field, in the military, and in the uh, business community. I uh, ended up with, uh, uh, in the military, ended up uh, with the Marines and playing football. And they were giving us a short talk on, you have to get tough, you have to get tougher. And they said, don't talk to me about tough. I just survived eight years of the Jesuit education, <laughs> <laughs> including Job, Rascio <laughs> Studio, mm -hmm. and a few other things I threw out in my <laughs> And they looked at me funny, and they, they let me alone. So <laughs> yeah, that, was a, that was a good deal. In addition to that, I might add that uh, through the prep, I could only trash talk in uh, Latin and French. <laughs> <laughs> However, Due to team, team, teammates and, and uh, other things along the line, I ended up trash talking in six different languages. And that just absolutely amazed everybody. Because they were saying, what is he talking about?
that, and then I did. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, football is a, a, a team sport. Uh, you don't do it by yourself. There's 11 other people around you, and there's a bench in back of you, and there's uh, a lot of help and assistance and coaches and teachers and everything else like that. And I do want to thank all concerned, especially the nominating committee, uh, those who partook of this process, and uh, I want to say everything that I learned at the prep, I, I'm still putting it to good use. Thank you.